Good day and God bless. Let us join together in prayer as we come to this time of devotion. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for fleeting moments of precious beauty, of time that we can spend together with your word and with one another. When we rejoice in the fullness of life, when we cherish, when we play, when we work hard, Lord, time and moments, that's, that's all that we could perceive. But Lord, you call it eternity. And you see it before yourself as we, we look plainly on our day and you see the wonder and beauty that we yearn to see, Lord. And we ask today that you will help us to have more open eyes, more open hearts, to cherish the precious moments we've been given, to cherish it as a time to celebrate you and the gifts of your word and your word made real and the promises that come true. And Lord, no greater promise than this is, is your own Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And the promise he has given us in the Counselor, the, the Holy Spirit that dwells with us, that calls us to, to the fellowship and life to be the church. And to come as a, as a people before you, Lord, we pray as your church, gathered around your word today, that we might be a source of understanding and truth for others, and that we might be a people who go forth offering healing, hope, and life as it is in Christ. And so, Lord, in his name we pray. Amen. And we turn today to our reading from the book of Acts, Acts chapter 15, reading at verse 10. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. There's a lot of things that people make Christianity to be about. They make it to be about going to a worship center. They make it to be about church programs. They make it to be about singing certain hymns. They make it to be about whether you wear makeup or not. They make it to be about what you do with Halloween and with St. Patrick's Day and with Valentine's and whatever. They make it about a whole bunch of things that, yeah, there's something to be said, but it's about Christ. And if people are saying things about Christian faith and about Christian life that never seem to get around to being about Christ, then it's right for you to put that to question. It is right and good to question and to be critical of the faith of others and to encourage them to be a little self-critical too, to not just accept blindly what um, any denomination puts forward as this is absolute and truthful because that's only the province of God. And anyone and any group of people that try to be God are gonna have an awful lot of trouble following God. And so when you look at those who are trying to lead the church, I encourage you and I pray that you consider don't put a yoke on them as if you expect them to have all the answers and to be God for you. Let God be God for you and work with these servants that God has given. Bless and encourage them with your abilities and with your interests. They're there to empower your interests and your abilities and, and to guide the journey and steps that you take in faith. And, and, and that's not an easy thing either. And that can, be, that, that can be enough. And when they have led well and when they have taught you the disciplines of faith and you feel strengthened and encouraged and your work is able to grow, well, then thank them and share the blessings that God has given together. God bless and keep you. Amen. Oh,